Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a guide of how to boost your FPS on Destiny 2. Uh, a lot changed since my last guide, I think 5 years ago. I never updated the guide, so I'm going to show you guys how to optimize Destiny 2. So we're going to start with Windows Parameter because a lot of stuff changed. And after that, we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar. Go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is, sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32, just divided by two. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, we're going to start with video in the window mode. Super important to use full screen in this game. Uh, I was getting some random stuttering when I was playing window full screen. So don't necessarily use the other mode. Just make sure that you're playing full screen. And honestly, in any game, full screen is always better. 
For resolution, I recommend to go with native resolution of your monitor. So if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p, go 1080p. Don't lower your resolution. Um, your image will become blurry. You should definitely use some image scaler technology or the render resolution that we will talk uh, later. After that, for the V-Sync, uh, me, my V-Sync is that off. Uh, I'm using the FreeSync technology. My monitor is 170 Hz, so I'm locking my FPS and I'm blocking it at 168 because I want to make sure that I'm staying in my FreeSync range. So if you have a FreeSync monitor or G-Sync monitor, use that. If you don't have that, if you um, activate your V-Sync, you will add input lag. If you're just doing single player or PvE stuff, you don't really care. Uh, but if you're doing PvP, uh, you know, uh, you're adding input lag, so you, you have to choose. Do you prefer input lag or you don't really care about uh, uh, image tearing when you're playing? So really depend on yourself. For the field of view, I'm playing at 100. Super important to know that if you more your field of view is higher, less you will have FPS. So if you're playing on a like a very old computer with an integrated GPU, I really recommend to lower your field of view. It will help with your FPS. After that, anti-aliasing, you have three different options here. Me, honestly, I play at off. I don't like anti-aliasing in any game. Um, my image is more clear when I don't use that. But if you want to use an anti-aliasing, I recommend the FXAA in this one. It's it's a, like, it's a mid-ground between off and SMAA. SMAA, too, for me, it's too blurry and you will lose too much FPS. So FXAA can be a good spot. Ambient inclusion also I'm using off. If you compare 3D to off, you can expect a nice 8% boost in your FPS. But a lot of people don't like to remove ambient inclusion in the game because it looks very flat. So I recommend to go with HDAO if you really need that. For texture and isotropy and texture quality, that's you have a pretty cool feature here. You have your VRAM usage. So just make sure that you're staying like you have 10 to 15% empty over there. So for, for an example, if you're playing like uh, with 4 gig and more of VRAM, you can definitely go IS and 16. If you have 3 gigs, go something like I. Uh, and depending again, if you're playing with that 1 gig of VRAM, just go with off and very low, low S and lower other stuff. Because as you can see here, you will have some issue. So it really depends on uh, the type of VRAM, how many VRAM that you have on your video card. For shadow quality, this one is really important. If I compare IS to lowest, you can expect 25% boost in your FPS. Uh, between lowest and low, I just saw a difference of 1%, sometimes 2 So that's why I recommend to go with low. Depth of field, remove that. You, it's, your, your image will be a lot more clearer and you will gain like 2 to 3% FPS uh, when you remove it. Environment detail distance, I recommend to go with low. I versus low, I compare it and it's almost like 8% boost in your FPS. So really nice chunk over there. For the character, I recommend medium. I didn't see a big difference between low and medium in my FPS, but medium and high, you can expect 3%. So go with medium for this one. Foliage, I recommend low. High to low, it's 8% boost in your FPS. So super important, the foliage. And the foliage shadow also go with medium. This is the lowest that you can get. Light shaft, I recommend to go with medium. Air, a 4% boost in your FPS. So pretty cool. Motion Blur, I don't recommend to using it. Uh, you don't want to use those kind of uh, effect when you're playing an FPS shooter. So you will not gain FPS with that, but uh, your image will be a lot more clearer when you're moving and aiming and stuff. And when Impulse, go with off. The last one, the additional video uh, option over there, you have the render resolution. If you don't have technology like the uh, NIS from NVIDIA or the Radian uh, image scaling, uh, definitely you can go at 90. Uh, it will help you a lot with your FPS. Under 90, honestly, you will see that your image quality decrease a lot. Uh, stuff will become blurry. You will see pixels and stuff like that. So I don't recommend to go too low with this one. HDR de really depends. Do you want to use HDR? Do you have a real HDR monitor? Uh, me, I have a HDR monitor, but I don't have a proper uh, local dimming. So I'm not using it. But when I play on my LG C1, I activate it and I want to mention you will lose FPS when you're using HDR. It's like 2%. So really depend on do you need those 2% or not. And the chromatic aberration and the film grain. I just put those one out off. So this is pretty much it for my Destiny 2 guide. If you have any questions, guys, just come in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.